There we go. All right. Welcome back to the renamed Cast and Blast Outdoors podcast, episode 19. We're going to do episode 19. We're going to call it episode 1 because it's technically a new name. Well, we don't know what we're going to call it, so y'all just have to stay tuned on that once we post it. But we got the originals, and then we got a little special guest back here tonight. He's a. Uh, Kind of a, a sore subject to talk about, <laughs> but uh, he's up here at the house, staying at the house for the week, uh, fishing the regional on Lake Norman that your boy did not make this year. So uh, that was, yeah, that was some rough stuff. So I mean, it was a lot of it. I'm gonna say most of it was my fault because I just fish stupid, but some of it was not my fault. Some of it was boat stuff and other crap that just happened. So, but it is what it is. Always next year. So, can't change it now. So no. Why look back at it? But uh, but we just wanted to uh, get the get the live going back. It's still gonna be no editing, straight. Same just, old stuff, just additional additional content. Yeah, no, like we're not gonna, just fishing. Yeah. So what we what we plan to do to it is kind of uh, make it just st- like strictly outdoor stuff. So like he he hunts, he dove hunts, Tanner back here, deer hunts, duck hunts, duck hunts. We fit, we all fish. I coon hunt. So I mean we're just gonna do a little bit of everything, and we'll talk a little bit, a little bit of everything, and uh, we'll have different special guests. It's kind of weird how it worked out, how we got a, a like a a guest right off the bat. Oh, uh, yeah. So, uh, it, I mean, it's first cool. episode back, first yeah, guest speaker. I, we didn't even have a guest on the. Mm-mm. No. Yeah. No, nope, we never got around to uh, having a guest. So. so look, back and better already. Yep. So uh, that's a little bit what we plan to do, and then um, all the video or all the lives will be posted to our YouTube channel. Uh, it's Cast and Blast Outdoors. Um, we're gonna do. We're gonna try to make it more. We'll do like your normal fishing tip videos or fishing trip videos, hunting trips, whatever. Um, we'll just kind of pick different weeks. We'll make a post about what we're gonna talk about that week, and then uh, uh, we also kind of want to try to do a little something as like a, like a show, like a, like mm-hmm. a, yeah, like a show on our YouTube channel too, like episodes kind of. Okay, a uh, series. Yeah, like a, a little, little short little, series. Yeah, a little short series of stuff here and there. Um, just to, I mean, just to kind of, I mean, that's what a lot of people we'll do. We'll have to work on up- yeah. uploading more frequently and just like yeah, yeah. whatever we're doing that day, if it's something that relates to the channel or whatever, we yeah. can put it in there and make a clip out of it and upload it and keep it more involved and not just, hey, every Thursday night yeah, at 8 yeah. o'clock. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Kind of like just doing a little We can talk about stuff. talk about something that happened last week that we already uploaded a video on so they can relate to it and not just say, oh, just... They just found out that we did this or we did that. They can yeah. say they yeah. went and did this last week, so we can maybe hear about it next week. Yeah, yeah some some kind of like that, or uh, we may do like a little. We may run a whenever we get some free time or something. We might do like uh, two months or so, like like two. a like a month or two, like every weekend, uh-huh. and we'll do a little series of like episode one. We'll come down, meet up with Tanner, go duck hunting, shoot okay. that like shoot that for episode one. Yeah. And then the following weekend or, or other, every other weekend, whatever, however it works, we'll go fish and we'll do the episode two of fishing, something kind of like that. Yeah. I, I think that'd be cool. Just to a do. variation of different events. But uh, we can't really get into a lot of the stuff on the Lake Norman side tonight. Because he can't receive any information. But we can talk about it a little bit. 
Um, I guess we can we can let you talk kind of about how your day went, because I mean that's not getting any information. Uh, don't say anything that's going to benefit anybody else. No, 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 no. Don't, don't say anything. <laughs> just, just kind of hint around, or just not hint around, but just talk like I don't know, man. Like don't go in don't, don't yeah, go in to, depth on on stuff just talk about how your day went and the potential it has for tomorrow and yeah a little bit about like that like man man i wish i i wish i went and did a little something different you know what i did or i wish i stuck with a little something a little longer just i mean you know what i'm talking about yeah uh well let's see first thing i was looking for a big bite uh for about two hours this morning and I honestly wish I wouldn't have stayed with it as long as I did because I feel, I feel like I missed out on a window or something else. And um, I plan to change that tomorrow. I think I'm only going to stick with it for like an hour since I ain't got as long to fish. See, that's I don't think you necessarily did something wrong about sticking with it for that big bite in an hour because the big bite on Norman's key. No, no, you can't be doing too much now. <laughs> I bet. We just gotta sit here and listen, man. We just, we just gotta listen. To <laughs> we don't want to screw it up and then make it. We suck. Oh man. <laughs> but anyway, like I was saying, the, I got. I feel like I found a spot today that's got some decent fish on them that I kind of. I thought I had more weight than I did, and I laid off sooner than I should have. If that makes sense, but. It's also a good thing that I didn't burn through all my fish today and I got some spots left over for tomorrow. So I just hope I can get two or three good bites and see what see what we can do. So you're you're sitting in what place right now? Thirty fifth <laughs> out of one sixty nine or sixty eight, something like that. You're in a good position. They're taking Taking top top twelve. Top twelve? Top twelve. Taking top twelve for Saturday. And the top six boater yeah. can't come in there. Yeah, all American. All American. Um, we can look at results. Because that's not really doing nothing. Yeah, my dad just texted me and said the lights are posted. Yeah. Let's. Uh, Be a lot of the separation by ounces. And I mean, that top, top 30, top 40 is going to be extremely close in weight. That's how it always is out there. I mean, Separation by ounces, or everybody four right, or five so people have the same weight. First and second is 17 to 16 pounds. Mm-hmm. The boys call them. That's all you gotta say. And then you got from 21st <laughs> to 39th is only a pound difference. No, two pound difference, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. We had a lot of Pulse. 11 and 12s today. But another thing I meant to touch on for tomorrow is uh, the conditions are going to be mm-hmm. completely yeah. different than they were today. Today we had a little bit of, or actually a lot of sun and a little bit of wind. And tomorrow we're going to get, I think they're going up like 10 to 15 and raining all day. You said what's leaving it? 17. 16, 13. 16, 13? I'm looking at the leg of the Ozark. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. <laughs> I told you. I'm cut. Unedited. Tournament yeah. results. <laughs> we're, not, we're, not, we're not editing nothing out. We're not cutting nothing out. You're going to see yeah. all the bloopers. 27 on pounds. One day event. Um. All the bloopers. I'm talking about everything. Oh, you, oh. You're going to see it on this one. Boy, that made me feel better. I was about to say, there's a bunch of people that have 14 because they ain't looking good. <laughs> oh, that's funny, man. Yeah, I mean, that whole majority of the field above, I don't nine, know, it's just nine, all nine, separated by points. ounces. Yeah. So, Roger Pope called him good, 14 13. Mm hmm. He'll, uh, he'll probably do that again tomorrow. Never know. Like I said, conditions are different. Can hurt you, can help you, either way. Yeah, there's, man, there's so many. Depends what you're fishing. There's so many 11 to 10 pound bags. 
and nines. Holy crap. And eights. Look at all the eights. All the way down to 76. Yeah, so I mean, you're sitting in a good spot. Just gotta go make it happen more. You're sitting a lot better than how many ever, you said you're 35th, about 100 or something bucks. You're sitting, or, 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 or. sitting a lot better than how many ever left there is. Yep. So, uh, keep your head straight, stay in it. Yep. That's the thing about Norman. My boy. You don't know when you're going to run into it. And my co angler finished 26 with 513. Dang, he's sitting good. Yeah, I saw the co angler weights didn't take much at all. No, the lead's 9 10. And fun fact, Hod Huntley, best for me at Hartwolf, uh, at the last BFL, and he's pre finished for me this week. He's sitting at 6 with 809. Mm. Where's our boys, uh, where's Tars, uh, Tars White? Tars White did not catch him today. That hurts me, man. Didn't. Look how many zeros there was today. Mm. On the killing of side. Welcome to Lake Norman. Yeah, whoa. That's a lot of zeros. <laughs> 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 and not a good way. <laughs> uh. Usually the line of zeros is good, but not on the fishing side. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, man. It, mm. The conditions are going to be so different tomorrow. And I mean, and the co-angler is going to have different boaters, so I mean, yeah, everything's changing tomorrow. Yep. So it'll be good. I think it'll, uh, if you want my honest opinion, I think that wouldn't surprise me if it only took like 13 pounds, 12, 14 pounds to be in them for the co-angler. For two days? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I can definitely see that. Um, That's crazy if you think. But what we can talk about tonight is my man's. Uh, <clears throat> how would you want to say that? Uh, obstacles that he's had to go over this week just to be here. <laughs> man, as always, I mean. <laughs> he's done swapped out a boat. Um, something else. Oh, battery charger. Man, had to go buy a battery charger. Something big always comes up when I'm set a regional. Oh, it's all it's nine percent me. Last, think, last year I was drove cross country in a lower unit. Yeah. Yep. Week was, before uh, the, the year before that, or where was it at? Plaque, St. John's. Uh -huh. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing happened there. <laughs> yeah. Nothing happened there. Yeah. Nothing bad. We had a good time, but nothing. <laughs> nothing. Yeah, we did get. <laughs> <laughs> I caught a jackfish. Uh huh. Little oh, jack. I think it was big. But uh, but yeah, man. He uh. Blow the tracks about. Yeah, he called me. He said, "Uh, man, my my battery's just dying." Oh, my trolling motor. He said, "My trolling motor battery's dying, man. I don't know what's going on." He said, I'm gonna go get new batteries when I get off late." And he FaceTimed me. A big old crack running down the transom. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna worry about the batteries no more. Mm -mm. He said, "Man, I." I, I heard something popping. I just thought it was a motor. Because you know, like, <laughs> hey, on them Yamahas, the trim tab, or like, when oh, you yeah. trim it up, it'll pop. That's yeah. kind of what it sounded like. When you trim it down, it pops. Well, mine does. So you don't much. have that with Mercury. Huh? You don't have that with Mercury. No, nah, Mercury. Mercury's, <laughs> they Mercury's they you know. either run or they don't. Yeah, that's about the only thing they have yeah. with Mercury. Mercury's they just either run or they don't. I seen one with a hole in it today. Yeah. yeah up in the, what? Up in the great outdoors? Yeah, hopefully I never see mine like that. Cause that, that didn't look too good. Mm. Like, nope. About a bowling ball size hole on the side of the power head. Yeah, that ain't good. Mm -mm. Nope, that is not good. Um, and then we are actually heading down to Lake Greenwood in the morning. Uh, we're going to head down to Lake Greenwood and fish a benefit tournament. You can talk about that if you want to a little bit. Yeah, so we're doing the, the benefit tournament, the second annual benefit tournament on Lake Greenwood for uh, Brandon Coates is putting it on for 
Uh, yeah, I guess it's second annual benefit mm -hmm. tournament. And putting it on for the second year in a row, and it's going to have a good turnout. Maybe around 40, 50 boats this year. Be a good time. Now that's something that we can talk about. Yeah. I, hope we I ain't got much to talk about, but I mean, you've you passed you past experience on yeah, it, so I've go been, for it. I've been down there a couple couple times um, and caught them, caught them pretty good. Are we going on a buzz bay. Uh, yeah, yeah. All kinds I'm of stuff. Them, so. Tell them, tell them, tell them everything we'll catch oh, I'm on. Tell them everything. I'm telling them the juice, baby. I'm, th <laughs> I'm talking about throwing a rattle trap on a Carolina rig with a. Mm -hmm. uh, Better make skirt. If you ain't got a six blade. foot leader on your Carolina rig, you ain't doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Heck, I don't even know last tournament that we talked about. I think it was honest. I honestly think it was saying to you was the last tournament we talked about on here. Oh, God, that was awful. Oh, oh, really? That was my yeah. first tournament. I think I was looking back on it, and I think that was the yeah. last one. I'm telling you, man, this is un. Uh, this is un <laughs> is what? This is uncut, whatever, unedited. You gonna quit pushing my dad on the chair backwards? I can't even stay here, man. Come on now. So what we had, we had, we talked about Santee on here. The last episode was about Santee, and then from there we went from uh, a lot of stuff happened. Yeah, like I said, we'll have a lot to talk about, but won't be able to remember it all. Um. After we left Santee, we went to Harlem. Yeah. I think we went to, or did we go to Harlem? Pretty sure. I mean, there was a break. Hold on, let me look back. We went to, we went went to Murray. Oh, and he, didn't, and he, yeah. didn't, he didn't fish it. Yeah. So there was, so yeah, it was Santee, okay. and then like three weeks later, y'all went to Murray. I mean, it was a summer, summer break. And then Harlem. Yeah, I think that's. Might have been the way it was. Alright, so I got your schedule right here. Alright, you had Lake Murray, then you had Lake Hartwell, then you had Lake Murray, then you had Lake Hartwell. Huh? You had... Where was Santee today? <laughs> Alright, you had Murray, Santee, Hartwell, Murray, and Hartwell. So, after Santee, you had Hartwell. Santee's really the last bit, the last we talked about on here? Yeah. That's been, well, I mean, there's a lot that's went on with that, with the tournament style. I've been everything. You, I mean, you, six, six months, six, seven months, whatever. Yeah. Everything. You got a place to stay. We bought another house. Yeah. Or we bought our first house, actually. So, uh, this is the little tackle room shop in the works, I guess. Um, this is probably not where we're going to be doing this. Like, for too long. Where we should do it. Is we're going to do it out in the main cave. Is where we're probably gonna have it set up. You want me to tell you the problem with that? Well, no, no Wi Fi signal. Uh, no, it'll work. It probably won't be as strong. I mean, we can try it, but. Well, we'll try it. If not, then we'll be back in here. Hey, we can put it up there. Alright, let's talk about Hall. That's gonna be a movie room up there. Yeah, maybe a podcast room too. Media room. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about Hall. Hartwell. Yeah. After Santee. Okay. Oh, I was on them. Yeah. Remember that? I was freaking on them. And then the freaking storm come through and they moved it. <laughs> I, I promise you we can rewind it through every episode and every time we were on it, there's always that dang storm that comes in. <laughs> every time that no, storm I'm came in. You, man, there was a storm that come through on that on Hartwell. Remember? It was yeah, real was bad. They canceled Friday. They canceled, they canceled Saturday. Oh, that Hartwell. And moved it Sunday. Sunday. That's right. Forgot about that. Yeah. I don't even remember that Hartwell, to be honest. If you got there late, you didn't have nothing. Like, you didn't know where to go, what you was wanting to do, nothing. This past trip? No, the one before no, that. I, I, yeah, I don't even know if I was there. Yeah. Was I there? Remember, I ran way back up in that thing up there. I ran way back up in that thing up there, in that little circle thing up there, and they was there. And then the storm come through and they wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, they just keep on telling me. Yeah. I, I ain't never heard this. I don't even think I was there. Yeah, you were. <laughs> what then, did I do? I don't know what you did, but remember I went looking for, I did that and then went looking for bed fish. 
and mess. I found one. I found a bed fish that was like seven pounds, and I I messed with it for three hours. Wasted my time. Never. Caught I, it. I remember that. Yeah. Now I'm getting it. Yeah. yeah I never caught it. So I mean, a lot of that stuff was just stupid mistakes I did. Is one of the reasons I'm not fishing this week. So I'm, I I ran up there that morning where I found those fish. Yeah, Carson had nine fourteen in that tournament. I ran way up. I ran way up there. Yeah. He was, he was looking at that screen. I guess that's what I had. I, I don't remember it. But uh, I ran way up there. You had a seven up four. Yeah. Seven up four. I hear you coming. Yeah, I had seven. I only had seven up four. I had. A, I was messing with a fish that weighed that. At, at, he was at least six, over six. Hmm. But it it looked big in the water. But I ran up there in that pocket. And it wasn't there, so I just stayed. I was stupid and just stayed in there and tried to yeah, finish I, it. Yeah, I, I remember you it tried now. to make it happen. I tried to, yeah, there. I tried to make it work. It didn't they work. threw a cast net at it and you couldn't even catch it. I, <laughs> do all, I threw everything at it. I about threw a co at it. Uh, <laughs> then I ran, I was like, screw it. I'm going to catch this bed fish. I pulled in there, caught the male off, three pounder, or whatever it was, flipped back in there. But what was weird was there was a dock sitting like this and the bed was right here on the corner mm -hmm. so that big female would come out and she'd look at it and she'd slide back in <laughs> <laughs> she'd come back out nose down on it pick the crawl up i set the hook it burnt, and she'd pull the crawl off and just enough to piss you off yep she'd back back up in that under that dock i sat there for three hours and that finally that last time she'd come up and she just looked, she never even picked it up, looked at it. I was going, oh yeah, this is it right here. She's about to get it. And then she went, and never come back out under that dock. Mm. Never come back. I said, well, there went three hours. So then I went to try to go mess with another bed of fish. Wasted another hour, but called it. I just wasted too much time. I should have been doing what you were doing. Yeah, that was actually one of my good tournaments this year. Yep. You were, uh, found it in practice. You had 17 but, pounds, didn't you? Uh, about a 15. 15. Let's see. Let's see. You had a good, good bag that night. I, I remember what y'all did, but I can't remember I had, what I did. <laughs> I had 15, 13. 15, 13. Yeah, you had a good bag. Yeah, you're on, you, that was the main, short, main league stuff. Yeah, that was and I knew good. what you was doing. I did it in practice a little bit, too, but when I found that pocket, man, you thought you had it on. I really did. Like they were, they were stacked in there. There was, I mean, it was everything was in there. Crappy, bad. There was large mouth, small mouth, striper. <laughs> I mean, spot, <laughs> spot, spot. <laughs> I don't know where I was going. This dude <laughs> ran so far <laughs> up the river. I ran so far with that thing. There was small mouth in there, but no, uh, there was crappy. Large mouth spots and striper. Like they were all just bunched in that pocket. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. Yeah. Now I, think I, he I know what you're talking about now. Yeah. 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 They were in there. Yeah. But well, that storm was like. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I remember the storm now. Now that I related it with that spot. And yeah, I know the storm now. Yep. There was a storm. But the so when I ran back in there, there was not there. But the crazy thing was that morning, boy, I'm talking about, my, I probably fished 10 spots and I ain't catching fish. And it was crazy. It was like 9 o'clock schooling fish and it just turned on 10 o'clock, something like that. And it, they just happened all day. I tell you, last heart will trip was too, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. But you know, he, he never got on him. I beat him on that one. Well, I mean, he did. He, <laughs> yeah. Beat him by like five ounces. I beat, <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll beat you, boy. I'll beat you by five ounces. I'll take it. But yeah, he but, got on that late bike about like, like 12 o'clock or whatever. But On that last tournament? Huh? He got on that late bite at like 12 o'clock. Yeah. Well, it wasn't he got, I got on the late bite. It was just, if anybody was up there fishing, you'd understand. There were probably 300 boats up there. Mm -hmm. And every, I mean, it was just everywhere you wanted to go. Well, what tournament? The last hole tournament. Oh, I thought we still going up first. No, we're going back to the last one. Oh. 
Well, we skipped the time. Oh, right, well, hold on. Let's get back to the hole. Anyways, <laughs> so I had, let's just say I had like 12 pounds and dropped four away in, or probably 45 minutes left four away in. Spot I ain't fished all week. I, t- I actually knew my co anger. I was like, I don't know, something's called my name about that spot over there. I pull up and I actually catch like a foot and a half, which is what made that tournament, what saved, like, made it as good as it was, if that makes sense. And then, <clears throat> after that one, we went what? To Murray. To Murray? Ha <laughs> ha. That's where you, you, well, you was, that's probably your best finish, yeah, right? I was, I finished third. Finished, he finished huh? third in Murray. That's a hometown boy, though. That's where he lives, man. Man, I was in the league for a while, too. <laughs> I don't, I, now this, this one, I really don't even remember what I did. Yeah, you do. Me and you fished up tournament Friday before. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. I caught all y'all's yeah, fish. Yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> We caught all my fish off my pocket. <laughs> or off my, off my points. No. And he didn't fish all his during the tournament. <laughs> nah, what happened was. No, nah, nah, I remember now. That freaking local was sitting on my point. That pissed me off. I know exactly what. I know exactly. It was your point? Yep. You had your name on Right there on the tree. <laughs> There's a tree up on that bank. It's got my initials on it. That day was... But uh, yeah, I remember what that is now. I ran to this first spot, pull up. We actually fished the tournament Friday, like he said. We had what, 16, 16 pounds? We had 16 pounds on Friday. And could have had way more, but they were jumping over our stuff and coming off. But uh, so I felt good for Saturday, I really did. And I took off running first thing that morning. Pull up to a spot, there's a boat on it. Well, there was, like he said, there was about 300 tournaments on this lake, too, yeah. fishing that day. There was two, there was three or four tournaments going on, like, all year, really. Yeah. Every tournament we've been to, they've been three tournaments going on. The one at Murray was so bad. We, I live on the other side of the lake from Greer Island, so it's all, all of them stayed at my house. We went and put in at uh, Larry Coon. They were having a turn out of there so bad that you couldn't even put another boat in the parking lot. We had to put it on the dirt side. Yeah, that was bad. But, uh, so I pull, I'm going to this point. This boat's sitting on. I'm like, screw it. Let's pull up over here. I'll fish this one and wait till he leaves. So I'm fishing this one. And I'm just watching it. And next thing I know, that just come up school. I'm watching. My man catches on about five pounds. Throw it in the box. I said, God dang it. <laughs> so I'm over here, boom, I catch one. They didn't come up school and I just caught one off top, caught it up. It was a two pounder. Throw it in the box. Watch, still watching this dude over here. My co angler on the back said, Hey, they're schooling again. I look over there. It was another four or five pounder. Threw it in the box. I said, Well, I'm not watching this all day. So we took off running. Went somewhere else. There was a boat sitting on it, so I went somewhere else. Fished it for a second. Went, it went and hit somewhere else. Boat was sitting on it. I told my cousin, I said, let's just run back to that first pot. Maybe that dude's gone. Pull up, he's still sitting there. I said, no, nah, I, mean, I ain't having this. So I come off pad, eased up to him. I said, hey, bud, this is one of my good spots I found in the turn, or in practice. You mind if I fish a wee? He said, no, come on, man. Well, they come up schooling on the side where I couldn't throw. It was I would have had to throw over his boat. Locked up, no five pounder to a box. I said, "You in a tournament?" He said, "No, I'm just out here fun fishing." <laughs> <laughs> I said, "What did he just say?" I turned around, and looked at my co-owner. I said, "He did not just say that." And he, he my co-owner looked at me and said, "Yeah, he did." <laughs> <laughs> I said, dude, we just watched him catch 15, 14, 15 pounds right there and throw it in the box. I said, I could have had that right there. And I had already had a five-pounder in the boat from my another spot I had hit when I was trying to get back to that one. Mm-hmm. And I looked up and caught one. And so I, I had already had a five-pounder in the boat. So all I needed was just a couple more decent ones. And I got to watch them get caught right in front of me. <laughs> That pissed me off. So I guess but, the, but you called him good. That's the one you wasn't there. Yeah, yeah you missed that one. Um, yeah, that one, 
that one was pretty special, honestly. Um, where I wanted to go, I had two spots I wanted to start up. And there was a boat on both of them. So, I mean, I fished the spot for and I mean, I've seen decent fish come up there. Actually, that Friday, it, we seen three or four big fish pull up there. And I don't know what told me to go there and try it, but I tried it. Oh, yeah. I said, no, you can have it. I don't want that spot. I didn't, it don't look like nothing. <laughs> and um, yeah, I got there first thing, and when I said that, they came up school, and they came up to school about it like an acre. Mm. And uh, I think the first one I caught was right at like four, three and a half, something like that. I looked at my car, and I was like, that's a good start. And he was like, yeah. Well, I sit around, and they come up schooling again, and cast out there and catch like a seven. Mm. I was like, <laughs> now we're talking. So uh, keep fishing there. I'm talking about they're still schooling. But uh, if you've been to Murray, you'd understand if you if you ain't touching their lips with it, they ain't going to bite it. And that's how it was. They were, just, they were, I don't know, something about them fish they didn't want to bite. So uh, left that spot, went to another one that I wanted to start on. And I pull up that. I actually seen Tyler drive by while I had like a four pounder on. <laughs> and uh, I wait, I tried to wave him over there and he just kept driving. So I was like, <laughs> he, <laughs> he, 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 he was like this. Yeah, I had one all, <laughs> he was like that. And I was like, I guess you, what's up, boy? He wasn't doing this. He was just. Yeah, he was like, I was over here biting a fish. I was like, hey! <laughs> but yeah, um. So, I ended up with like 20-something pounds off of that last spot. So, I was like, I need one more big bite, and I know where I can get it at. So, I went and ran almost every point down towards the dam. I was like, if I catch one, it's going to be a good one. And I had to bite to win it. That was the bad part. I had like a six-pounder jump right over my top water. The only bite I had down there all day, but it was the one I needed and just missed it. Mm-hmm. I went and I, mm-hmm. I could do about it. But I ended up, I think, a third in that one, like 120 something pounds. Yeah. So talking about Murray, we had y'all had that Murray BFL, and after that we went to the Big Bass. Yep. Cabela's Big Bass on Murray. Yeah. Oh, we did, didn't we? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that sucked too. Man, what? Well, that was my nice. But Don Lady did. <laughs> I think I made two or three man had, He, I, I ain't never been nosed by one of my boys. <laughs> <laughs> I my man in trouble motor for young. Uh, yeah, that's a check. I couldn't even get there. <laughs> but yeah, uh, speaking of which, that day, that that that, that Sunday, that was the roughest. I think. Oh, that was bad. That's roughest yeah. water I've ever been in. Yeah, that was that was bad. We we, we took we took a couple over the front. Yeah, we took a couple figures over the front. When when I pulled out of that car, Ron. Like, well, I had I had two in a box that were iffy on cutting a check for the hour. We were watching the leaderboard. We were down the lake. It's like, you know, the storm's coming, wind's picking up, and we decided to leave, like, right when it starts pouring down rain sideways. And we winds did blowing. Too. We did too. <laughs> and we come out of that cut on the main lake, and me and Ryan just look at each other. It's just like, hold on. And Ryan's puckered up over there, dude, and we ain't seen nothing but skies just riding these waves all the way we, back. We didn't see nothing but waves. Yeah. Oh, we, could, we couldn't ride and ever ride us over the front of the it, it was bad. We come out of a pocket, and then I thought we, I said, I said, where are we at? Behind the islands? He said, no, uh, we, we on the opposite lake of that. I didn't even know where I was. That's how bad yeah. it was. So I, I wasn't, like, I was trimmed up. And leaning into it, I just had my my nose stuffed up in the air. So I mean, <laughs> he did. <laughs> yeah. way, oh, he had this one right here. You could have been in a forty like this. Uh. And then when it hit this one, he said, and it dropped down, and it. What happened to your transom again? Uh, <laughs> like that. <laughs> that ain't the worst. That ain't the worst I've been in. The worst I've been in is probably sand too. That. Yeah, my, dad, my dad said some crazy stories about that one. Uh, we, on Blast Off, we got out there to the main lake and we started going across the channel. And it was, it, they were footers. They were up there. Took off over the front. Yeah, it was fun. 
Yeah, that day at Murray definitely beat that day at Santee that I had the first time at Santee there. Mm. I, I've had two. I've had two days like that at Murray this year. I had one. I was on the way at Utter by the damn bed fishing, and I was at both tournament or not both tournaments, but the first tournament was bad like that. That's how I freaking about lost all my grass. Yeah. And, and then the and my boat broke that tournament too. Yeah. Same same deal. We were talking about how Tanner was waving at him like, "Come here," and then Tyler was like, "See ya." Well, <laughs> The big bass tournament is that when you lost your, almost lost all your crafts? No, that was the very first PFL here. Yeah. Uh, well, at that time, he came around that corner right there, and I was, I, I was catching him right there. And here goes Tyler's hauling a rooster tail twenty foot up in the air, and I look well, over, I'm like, throw a rooster tail. and I watch him. He never let off, and he lets <laughs> off about a quarter mile down the strip, and I'm like. What are you doing? He's standing up on the front deck holding his graph plate up. And I'm like, oh, that ain't good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's when your co-angler said, uh, that man let it eat. Hey, ain't that your buddy? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, uh, he just stopped. I was like, huh. Well, that's because I hit one like that, and I was, I was on top of him like this, and then I hit, I dropped in one, and that thing went like that, and when I slammed it, He's sitting 70 foot of water, and I said, I guess they came up schooling down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right in the middle of the channel. I was like, so that, that, that tournament went bad, too. I didn't catch him on that one. Had too much crap on my mind, but that ain't no excuse. We talked about I just didn't trip. catch him. Um, so we did talk about that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was the first one, yeah, so we talked about that one. And, and then uh, uh, the one after the big bass was... Uh, the one down here in Norman. The, um, Shana Hook. Oh, the Shana Hook Benefit Tournament. We talked about that. We talked about that. I remember talking about it. I know we talked about it. I don't know if we talked about the tournament, though. I'm pretty sure we did. I know we always led up to it, but. Yeah. I don't know. We may have never, uh,. Keep it on. And uh, uh, the, the two guys that won first place uh, actually took home, I think it was 19000 mm-hmm. 19000 after the, the 10000 guarantee and contingency. the contingency money. So it, it went good. It went really well. Um, we got another one of those coming up in December. Uh, so next couple – I guess three months. months. Yeah, within the next couple <laughs> the months. Next month. No, I was going to say within the next couple of weeks. Right, but two months. Next couple of months, we'll be talking about that and lead up to it too. Um, Early December, or late December, twentieth, right? I want to say it's mid. Yeah. It's mid. <laughs> mid December. Might be the first. Of the time. I don't know how to look. Uh, but. uh 16. 16, that's what I thought it was. <coughs> uh, yeah, so the Shine Hope Farms Benefit Tournament in December will be December 16th. Um, Raffling off a boat. Yeah, and that's still going on, by the way. Uh, 
Well, I'll, we, we, can, we can post a, uh, the link and stuff on the Facebook page here. Uh, but I've been sharing it. Jason Lane's been sharing it. Uh, everybody else has kind of been sharing it too. Uh, that's pretty awesome. You can buy a $100 ticket and win a brand new canvas. So I would highly suggest doing that. Um, and that's one thing that we did on the, like, when we first started it, we kept talking about we were going to do little giveaways and crap. Mm -hmm. We never did. So we got to start doing that. Now that we got guests coming on, and we got to we gotta make this thing, make this thing right. So. Yeah, I'm sure Anastasia's still waiting on her cases of Pepsi, right? Yeah, keep on waiting. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, uh, this is the new style, so everything starts over fresh. But uh, that's coming, yeah, that's coming up, so that'll, that'll be good. Hopefully we'll have a good turnout for that again. I hope so. But uh, I hope we go down to uh, Greenwood and Wackle. No, yeah, sir. Have a good little, <clears throat> good little fun time. We always have a fun time when we fish together. There's always something happens, and even if we have a bad day on the water, it's still full of laughs. Yeah. Somebody <laughs> steps step on his own net and blames it on me. No. Oh. Whatever. Man. Everything happens. Speaking of which, uh, uh, I think I need to show y'all what I had to do with my net today. What do you have to do to it? Zip tie? Go get it. Can you zip tie the mesh together? No, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no telling what this boy had to do to this net. I'm telling you what. <laughs> Pick it up underneath the street sign. <laughs> I mean, he catches some that's all. That's all you needed. Like those two-day events, you need a, 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 a good, good solid day base day. you can go off of. Yeah. If you ain't got that, your, your mentality's down, and it's just gonna be hard. Duct tape. Yeah, there's no tape. It. That's what you gotta do on the big dogs. Can I see it? Electrical tape. Yeah, the, why, <coughs> why did you have to electrical, electrical tape it today? Well, how why did you, you know the little pen? Why, why are you using that? Why don't you just swing them? I mean, never mind. <laughs> Which, well, actually, I, I it's funny to say that. I, two of the fish I weighed in the day, I put them in the net, and as soon as they got underneath the net, the hooks came out of the ball. Mm. So, I was actually glad I had it. But, um, it's a nice net. I wish I had one like that. It's my step dump. I need to step dump. <laughs> I need to step dump. Yeah, no, step dump. What do you say? But, uh, but no, that's... I mean, it, I know, like, tonight's kind of like just a bunch of crap, but uh, it's just getting it back going, getting it started again, and... Uh, just kind of talking about what all we're going to do. I actually, when I was growing up, my dad, me and my dad always just fished. Like, I fished all year long. He didn't never really hunt. So I had never, I've never shot a deer. So one of these is supposed to be taking me deer hunting. We're going to film all that. We're going to talk about that on here. So that, well, we'll just kind of talk about all kind of stuff. <coughs> out here and I think it'll be cool kind of switching it up not always trying to figure out yeah we need, not always find trying to find stuff to talk about every week we so. need to really try to like whether in the middle of the week weekends or just the day after work whatever we're doing if it's something that relates to the channel just stick a GoPro on film and it. just film it talk about it and just upload it so yeah yeah, that's what we're going to try to... I agree, that's what we need to try to do. Which I... Uh, we ac I actually just posted a... Uh, just a quick little coon hunting trip. Uh, that me and uh, my buddy Jeffrey went on. Um, and within a couple of days, it's already up to 200 views. 
So, I mean, just quick little stuff like that. And we're on, I mean, they'll, they'll get better as we go on with editing them and all that stuff. They're just kind of thrown up there right now. Stand. I got a stand for you. Come on. What the heck's he talking about? Deer hunting. Oh, <laughs> that kind of stand. Gotcha. Oh. I read that wrong. I wasn't nowhere near close enough to the. I thought that said Jeff Walls. That's John Martin. Oh, yeah. I, oh, yeah. I'll come hunting with you. You just let me know when. I'll come on up there. But that's the thing, man. When I was coming up through high school, I had a couple of buddies say, Oh, yeah, I'll take you. I ain't never take I went. I did go sit in a stand one time with a buddy, and we didn't see crap. <laughs> Part of it, but I mean, same fishing. Yeah, I mean, hunting's not as independent of what kind of hunting. Like deer hunting, it's not comparable to bass fishing. It's a whole different scenery, whole different, whole different ordeal. Like you're not going out there to expect to kill something. You hope. Yeah. That's like going out to the lake. It's like I'm hoping to catch five pounder. Yeah. And most of the time it doesn't happen. Sometimes it does, depending on where you go. Same deal with that, but it's just a whole different whole different deal with that we definitely go out and, and do something like that I just think that I think it'd be cool kind of doing like I said doing those little episodes and stuff and going and duck hunting and stuff you have to take us duck hunting yeah we, yeah, we, we, we go and duck hunting speaking of which especially in that new duck boat it's, this boy's got a bad duck boat and he just had a bunch of work done to it but uh, speaking of which um the day, or no, Thursday, the season came up. Yeah, yes, today. The season opened up here for three days, duck season. <laughs> there was a bunch of people hunting at the lake, actually. Huh? Nah. I can imagine how <laughs> that would go. <laughs> I can imagine how that would go. Yeah. That'd probably go over real well. But the tournament right there. <laughs> but, uh, we'll have to do a duck hunting trip, and I mean, a deer hunt. I mean, it's kind of hard to. You can film it. Yeah, but I mean, if you don't it ain't see gonna it. be all <laughs> the up, whole part of that is gonna be like they're gonna watch the first twenty seconds of you walking and, and then of uh, I'm, the the videos I'm talking about, like trying to do up to for our uh, YouTube channel, is like a legit like us go like if we were going on a deer hunt, us going there. Heck, we might stop by the Waffle House, eat breakfast or something. Yeah. We'll video. We'll do all that. Us going into the woods, getting up in the stand, and then, yeah, we ain't just gonna let it sit there for thirty minutes looking at a field and nothing coming up. Mm -hmm. So if we don't see nothing that day, uh, I guess I just watch us walk in the woods and walk out. <laughs> I've, I've honestly, I mean, I've. I've killed a lot, hunted a lot, but I've never videoed anything. I think I have one video of shooting some hogs, but like as far as sitting with somebody and actually taking good video with a GoPro and like, yeah. hey, see it on TV, guys sitting and like whispering to each other, he's about to walk out. Yeah, yeah. I've never done that. Like I think that'd be cool. Yeah. All right, this is a suggestion of what to talk about next. Um, the schedule from next year. He says, I want to see, I want to see Tyler when a deer walks out. Nothing but bow hunting over here. Nothing but bow hunting. I, I ain't never killed one with a bow. I always want For to. real? I always want You've never killed one with a bow? No. So we in the same boat on that one. Kill one with a shotgun and a rifle. I ain't never shot one with a bow. Yeah, I don't know what I'm, I don't, it, whenever, once we go, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't. If I go, if it's the first time I go with you, or if I end up going with John, well, you know, I'll probably. Well, that, that's <laughs> the thing. I, I mean, if if you truly love it or whatever, you, you'll get the shakes when it walks out. But I mean, some people it's like, hey, take me deer hunting. And they go out and deer walks out. They're calm as can be. And it's just like, what do I do? I shoot it, and they line up, and they pull the trigger. If you're really like passionate about it. As soon as you see one, I mean, your heart just to beat. I, I swear, you, you used to go a lot. But you yeah, growing up, I hunted like crazy. Like I, I have seen 
the South Carolina, South Carolina record buck that would have been killed with a bow when I was uh, 16 or 17. And I saw that sucker. I heard him coming in. I was just sitting in a climber, and he came in down the trail behind me. And I turned my head, and I saw him, dude. And it was either 27 or 28 point. I mean, it was an old deer. And that sucker was about 50 yards away from me. And I was shaking. I had that rangefinder in my pocket. Yeah, I was shaking so hard, I shook the rangefinder out of my pocket. It hit the ground. Fell down, hit the ground. That deer looked up at me. He knew exactly where I was at. Put his head down. Kept on moving. I didn't even take a shot at him because I was shaking so bad. I didn't want to, like, gut, gut shoot him and lose him. Like, that was a trophy deer. Like, that would have broke South Carolina records. But never saw him again. Yeah. I've seen a lot of big deer that... I haven't been killed. Yep, I'll probably I'll probably uh, be shaking pretty good. For well, time. good. That's a good thing. And it it never goes away. I, I guess with experience, I mean, once you kill so many massive, like prize possession deer or whatever, I guess that'll go away. But as far as just going hunting. Once a month or whatever, just seeing a nice deer, you always get the shakes. You never. Well, that's what he says about duck hunting. He said duck hunting's just. So I've only been duck hunting once, and I love it. I, I shot three, and that's my first time ever, and never been back. And I can see how you that's only a, been once. Yeah. So. But I loved it. I just I didn't at the time. I didn't. I still don't. And I have a boat, but not the boat that I should <laughs> yeah, take back yeah. into that stuff. Yeah. But I mean, I loved it. I see how people get addicted to that, and. I always wanted to go back. It's a whole. Well, now we got the man to take us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I ain't gonna say around here, around, anywhere on the southeast, ain't nothing like Arkansas. Oh, I bet not. Just good old wood duck shoot and be done in 30, 45 minutes. Mm. But hey. Well, then we might have to film us a trip going to Arkansas with you on the. Arkansas ain't that long. How long is that? Eight hours? Nine hours? Uh, no, something like that. I don't know how far it is from here. I think it's like 11 from my house. Well, Arkansas is left Florida, so depending on what part of Arkansas, between five and eight or nine hours. Yeah, we might have to do us a little little trip or something one one time. Let's see, from here. I'll have to get, I will have to go around here some, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't going up there for my first time. <laughs> <laughs> here, come, here comes 50 down <laughs> Sky blasted. Uh, you get him? Uh -uh. I'll turn around and shoot him. <laughs> I'll tell you, boy, some of them, some, I mean, them boys out there in Arkansas, they take it serious. I'll tell you, they hunt every day of the week. I mean that. For real? I mean, I had I had fun just here on the South Fork. I mean, it, it obviously, it's nothing like the good places, but I mean, you'll have birds flying, you'll see birds, yeah, yeah, but it's yeah. not like... The sky is filled with them. And see, yeah. it ain't even that. It's just, it's a difference. I mean, you can shoot, wood, you can shoot wood ducks in timber, but like, when you got this whole, you know, like, I mean, you got these big trees, like, and it's just like a hole in the middle. Yeah. And, uh, and obviously, they ain't got a lead on us wintertime. And you just look, I mean, you look up and you got like matters just like, Barely just coming in the hole. <laughs> I tell you, like, nothing beats it. Well, if you go back, when you go, when when do you do that trip? I'm uh, going three times this year. Well, with one of them, you film it. Okay. We'll upload it on the. I need to get me out. Um, what is that? Like tap cam or something? No. What is it? There's a the camera that goes on the gun, so like you can see when you're shooting. Yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah, that, that would be sweet. In like Louisiana, Arkansas, the only thing we have here is wood, is wood ducks. Say that out loud. He said, John Martin said, nothing like Louisiana, Arkansas, only thing we have good here is wood ducks. Yep. Sounds about right. Shot cam, shotgun camera. How much shotgun. those run? That ain't too bad. About 100 bucks? Maybe 200 bucks. Really? Yeah, that ain't too bad. That's a so that's a good idea. I was wanting to get one for dust season this year, but I, I just just a shot cam like that. Oh, because I mean you can you that's can. Cool. I mean deer hunt any I mean any yeah. type of like 
anything you gotta shoot with a shotgun. You set it up to where like you got a dot, like in the camera lens, you got a dot on where your gun's like oh, precisely sweet. aiming. So like every that's shot sweet. you take, you can you know look back it. at it, it's like, oh, that's why I missed it. Or, Dang, he smoked him. Huh. That's pretty cool right there. I ain't even gonna lie. That's pretty sweet. But uh, next next uh, season, Tanner, you're welcome to come up if you want, and it, it's it's gonna be good next year. Uh, September third. Yeah. September third. It comes back. Oh no, yeah. yeah. But not as like the opener. Yeah. I, I mean, I go once or twice a year, but I don't know. If you if you love dove hunting, to me, dove hunting is dove hunting on steroids. Yeah. In the water. I just don't like it. As long as I'm warm, it's cool. But if I go, he's if I got those leaky waders, man. That's with anything, man. He, I always get the leaky waders. If he gets cold with anything, fishing, he he it. I'm done, he's dude. Done. I can't move my hands. I got that thing, what they call Raynaud's. I can lose circulation in my hands. I can't even close my hand. I'm just I standing get, there I like that. <laughs> standing there like this. Like, dude, I can't move my hands. Yeah. <laughs> We can, yeah, we can, I mean, heck, if y'all want a weekend. I mean, if we really wanted to put a video, like, a dove, no, no, that's what I'm saying. A dove like, hunt video like, out. I mean, yeah. we could, have to, have to be on Saturday, we have to stay out there all day. And I mean, it's going to have to be soon before it gets too cold. Yeah. But. No, like, that. that's what I want to do with the, that's what I want to do with, like, the, the podcast, the YouTube channel and all that stuff. I want to, I want to put all that stuff up there. Yeah. And uh, keep it a lot, a lot of fishing, but have other stuff in there as well, so people can that we, they can they don't we're not always talking about fishing. We're not always showing fishing. We can just mm-hmm. show everything in the outdoors. Yep, yeah, everything outdoors. I think that'll be cool. Try to hopefully get some more people following the page and interacting on our lives uh, and stuff like that. And then having that way we can actually have more special guests come on and and really talk about it. Like we'll have him come back on and we'll just strictly do one about duck hunting. Mm-hmm. And then we'll just strictly do one about a deer hunt we're going to do or where we did do or coon hunt, whatever. So the main thing with cool. like big game hunting is land, like having somewhere to do that. Because I mean, if you don't... Oh, we got land. We just got to drive to Nick's house. I, I can shoot deer out of the back window of the house. Oh, I'm But good. I'm talking I'm about... Like, right here, too. But. Like, actually, like, fully involved food plots. Going to move a stand over here and try this, this, Well, that's tonight. what I'm saying. We can go to Nick's. At oh, Green, at Green Wood. He's got his daddy's house, his buddy's land... And then the, the club they're in. So there's three different options that we yeah. could go to. I mean, that's the thing like with the club, though. I mean, some clubs, per well, member, you can he, bring one yeah. guest or two guests. Well, he, he, says, says, he said their club down there is pretty, pretty laid back. Because yeah. I, I mentioned something to him about bringing dogs down there and good hunting. Mm-hmm. He was like, oh, they ain't, none of them will care. Just, just let me know. We'll bring them on down. So, I mean, we, we, got, we got a few places we can go do some some videos and stuff <clears throat> and hey we might make it a we might shoot two or three videos as while we're down there that weekend yeah we might deer hunt one day coon hunt one night and fish the next day <laughs> yeah so i mean we might do we might knock three different videos out or something like that i don't know what y'all think about the schedule for next year I think it, I'm, I'm glad Clark Seals back. What's the schedule again? But I'm also fishing that new ABA thing too, so more than likely, because that one's that one's local here. It's Norman Norman High Rock Curve. Schedule next year is what Hartwell. I don't know. I don't even know where you see it. But you just told me about it. Yeah, but that's something we can talk about. But 
We're fishing the South Carolina BFLs, and then we're going to do the ABA, new ABA series. All right, so you got Lake Hartwell, Santee, Hartwell, Clarks Hill, Murray. You only, we only hit Murray one time because we got Clarks Hill back in there, I guess. So Hartwell's – man, we've been starting at Hartwell a good bit. Yeah, it's all good this Started in Murray this year. Oh, yeah, that was the following year that we did that. The Hartwell should be – I mean, that should be a good time of the year. Crap I did this year. <laughs> Hopefully, I, mean, I hope it. Well, I hope we get a warm, like, a warm snap pretty quick this year. We ain't even in the dang true fall yet. This dude's already asking for warm weather. I don't know what. I, I think we're gonna have a cold I think we're going to have a cold winter. If we have a cold winter, fishing would be good next year. Yeah. It's going to kill all of them, kill everything. Kill all the bait. I think we're going to have a, a cold winter. I really do. That's going to be some. If it snows this winter, I'm going to get out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go fish in the snow. Yeah, we'll go. We'll film it. Well, film us fishing oh, in the I, snow. Oh, I always want to do ice fishing. <laughs> <laughs> this dude told me to hold it. Fishing in the snow and the lake's frozen over. Everything's outdoors, yeah, we're talking about fishing. But the only kind really fishing that we're going to be talking about is bass fishing. Maybe here and there we'll Stay be tuned. fishing with you and Santee. Yeah, so we can put other, that on other there. Other than that, Unless you're paying for the trip. Stay I'm not tuned. Going cast, cast the Blast Outdoors in December. We're going to be in Canada in a <laughs> dang tent with a mobile live scope unit sitting there in one rod in each hole sitting there. Oh, he's about to buy it. He's about to buy it. I don't know. I think it might be actually kind of cool, but I can't imagine it like fishing in the snow and then going to Canada and fishing in the snow. That's going to be crazy. I mean, he'll only make his cast real quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you catch one fish that that big. Yeah, and you gotta too big to get through the holes. Like, hang on, you got a hole bigger. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a lot of stuff to go through just to catch a dang fish that ain't that big. Yeah. Boys, y'all are in trouble next year. You that said schedule. that last year. Yeah, you said that last year. <laughs> uh, I can't say nothing. You freaking finished higher than I did. Yeah, one spot above, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Who <laughs> finished higher than you? Dad. <laughs> and he choked at the last tournament and still finished higher. Yeah, he'd shout out to Jeff and Pepsi for donating the drinks for a benefit tournament that's going on at Greenwood tomorrow. That was a huge Saturday, help out. Saturday. Or Saturday, yeah, sorry. Yeah, going to practice tomorrow. That, that was huge. Now yeah, let's pull us through on the drinks. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we got the drinks, baby. We got the drinks. <laughs> Never going thirsty around here. Nope. Not nope. <laughs> well, you said that about wraps it up? Yep, yeah, I think so for the first one. It was kind of, everything was out there. And yeah, well, that's, what's gonna, that's what it's going to be. Yeah. That's how it's going to be you now. Uh, but, I mean, some of the podcasts, from here on out, we'll we'll kind of do like a, like we'll do one or make a post and say we're gonna talk about a hunting trip that we got coming up. Yeah. We'll talk about what where we're going. We'll be doing, like doing that, and then that following week we can talk about the hunt, and then. And then keep it going like that, and then say that next week after that, we got a tournament coming up. So right. We'll talk about fishing. So stuff like that, I think it'll be cool.
<laughs> Little Jeff got us. <laughs> All drunk load. Bed full. <laughs> I said, you thirsty? I said, I got you some drink. Open up the bed. My whole truck bed was full of drinks. No. So, but, but yeah, I think that would be cool. And then like, for when we go duck hunting with him, we can talk about, oh, we're going down to meet with Tanner, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then we can have you come up that pre that next week and we can talk about it. Talk about the hunt or whatever. So I think that'd be cool. All the crazy crap that'll go on we'll get to talk about. Oh, oh I'm sure there'll be stuff. I tell you what, anytime we're doing something, there's always a dang story that happens. It, it don't it doesn't matter where we're at, what we're doing. I mean if we if we go to Walmart or if Tanner's just coming back from a tournament on Norman, something <laughs> something happens. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's, yeah, that's like last night, my man jumped on the little scooter. Uh, Handicap scooter. Yeah. Basket, was, scooter gonna, basket. Yeah, I was going to say like Rebecca Scooter or something, but the old fat woman. <laughs> uh, he just jumped on one of them freaking handicapped scooters and took off out of nowhere. Like, I mean, we just got stupid stuff like that. Or him, we'll, I'm sure we'll have a, a podcast talking about a fishing tournament somewhere. Well, heck, probably a lot of it now if we're going to do hunting trips too. We don't let him lead the way because his GPS does not take him. Oh, right yeah. Ways. I hope we get to include some of that. Like, I know like some of the lakes, and if I punch it in at where I'm at, I know the roads it's going to take me. And we ought to just do that, just to like put it on the video. Like I'm telling you, some interesting roads. You take me down to Monticello or Santee, I, the roads that that sucker chooses, good old ways. We'll be on, he, he just ends up on dirt roads. We'll be in a dirt road, like, in a swamp. And Waze is like, <laughs> take a left after the next stump. And I'm just like, oh, i got to turn around. It, it's some sketchy yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to ever follow him. I just keep on going. He Tyler, turns off and I keep going. Yeah, that's Tyler, Tyler. I'm like, hey, where's the ramp? He said, it's the first road on the right. And I said, dude, I'm on a back road. Like, there's really nothing but hay fields around me. <laughs> So yeah, we'll be able to see all that on the YouTube channel too. So all y'all that tuned in tonight, if you don't mind, uh, head over to the YouTube channel, subscribe to it, and uh, you can keep up with all the videos we'll be posting up there too. And uh, and put your input on what y'all would like to see too. Mm -hmm. so, John, we can we can we'll schedule that with you and Jeff and whoever else you want to include on that. We can we can have y'all in for. A, Special guest. Yeah, that'll that that'll be cool. That uh, that that that'd be a that'd be a fun time. Yeah, that can... that'll be something cool to do. Uh, we'll definitely we'll definitely try to get that done. Cause I'm sure everything we talk about and we've done, they've oh they, they've, they've done they... a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> they've had a lot a lot worse. All I'm gonna say is Santee. John. Yeah. Oh no, Shane was telling me a story the other day. When I, <laughs> you gotta be easy on here, man. Well, Shane, you got my dad? yeah, Shane was telling a couple of good stories in a tackle shop uh, uh, two days ago when I stopped in there, and he said that no, no redman days for the fun times. Yeah, that's what I heard. But uh, but yeah, we'll definitely get that going. Um, so pretty much wraps it up for tonight. I know we don't said that about three times, but man, it is a lot coming back. So uh, every uh, Thursday, though. Every, every Thursday night, eight o'clock. Uh, tune in here, and then, like I said, this will be posted up on YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. So another thing before we end it. So this this tournament tomorrow. Yeah. So we're gonna it's film. Saturday. Yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> this tournament Saturday. We're gonna we're gonna have some film. We're gonna be running GoPros. So, I mean, whether we go live or we just have video of the tournament, we're going to upload it on to the account. Yeah. Highlights or it's not just going to be pictures. It's going to be little clips of yeah. fish catches or stuff that happens. Weigh-ins. Yeah, definitely. Like that, so. Yeah, that'd be cool, too. Uh, but, yeah, other than that. Tune in next week, 8 o'clock, for Cast and Blast Outdoors.
Good old casting blast outdoors, baby. Right. Thanks for tuning in.